All right, have a nice day. So guys, this is something I go through all the time. Every day I get requests from other photographers. Ganani, can you send me the plugin for this? Can you send me the plugin for this? And I ask them one question. Do you really need plugins before you can retouch raw? And so today I'll take you through Photoshop retouching without plugins. We'll be making use of the actions we created in the previous tutorial. If you haven't watched it yet, I will include a link in the description. This is Ghana Near Photography and I'm Don Alabi. I'm a Ghanaian based photographer and teaching is one of my passions. This beautiful t-shirt is provided by Creative Loop Designs. You can check them out on Instagram and make your purchase. If you like what I do here, Kindly go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified anytime there's an upload. This image has already been raw processed in Capture One. If you want to learn how I raw process my images in Capture One, I'll include a link to that video in the description and up above right there. Today we'll retouch this image without using any plugin. We'll use the actions we created in the previous video. If you missed that video, then I'll include a link also in the description and up above right there. So first of all, let's start with frequency separation. So let's open our action. And these are the actions we created in the previous video. Uh, frequency separation for 8 bits and then our door jumper. So we'll go ahead and then run the 8 bits frequency separation action. Now you can decide to view the button view so over here we have lots of actions. So this is the 8 bit FS we created and then there is the dodge and burn. See we gave it red and then orange. So let's go back to the normal view. So 8 bit and then let's run it. So you see as I explained it gives you the option to select your radius each time you run it. If you don't understand how we do this just watch my video on how to create your own action and you will understand it. So here I like to give it 10. So we have this run and you guys know I love to use the mixer brush too. So let's select the mixer brush right there with these values in here. And I would like to close this so I can have a, a bigger view of our image. So here, let me just come in a bit and then start my frequency separation. So I'll fast forward so you guys just don't get bored because I have more videos on how to do your frequency separation. Today we are focusing on how to retouch without using plugins. So we've basically done some mixer brush and then uh, some blemish remover. But this being a tutorial, I decided not to waste too much time on this. If it was uh, a real retouch, I would have taken much more time. So let's uh, see where we are so far. So this is before and this is now. So let's assume we are okay with this and we want to run uh, dodge and burn. So we just come to our actions and then play the dodge and burn action and right here we have it. So let's expand and then do our dodge and burn. So we select the brush at the flow or opacity of your choice. I use flow so let's just um, zoom out and then you know, do a dodge. I'm rushing through this because it's a tutorial and I wouldn't want to keep you guys here for too long. So let's go to burn and start burning. See, so basically we've achieved this without using a plugin. These two actions we created by ourselves. If you still don't know how this was done, just watch my video. I'll include the link in the description and also up there so you can go through it and then learn how to create your own actions. With this, you're ready to go. You don't need to depend on 
anybody's actions if this has been helpful to you don't forget to like it and share with other people that you know will benefit from it i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching